Hey guys, I got a video review for you guys today of the Spec See-Through Satin Case for the MacBook Pro 15-inch model. See the MacBook Pro on the right. Um, I tried to get it out of the case right here and I did a little too forcefully and I almost dropped it. Um, I highly suggest you clean your case before you put it onto the Mac, otherwise it might scratch your Mac's aluminum finish. I'm going to skip the cleaning in about 5 seconds and go straight to applying the case because it's a little tricky at first. You can see the packaging, it tells you how to insert it. It's just a bunch of pictures really, not very descriptive. Well I just finished cleaning the MacBook Pro and opening the case and cleaning the two parts of the case that will come in contact with the MacBook Pro. I tried to put the Mac in uh, rear end first, no pun intended, then snap in the front two ends, but it didn't quite work out so I had to snap in the front two ends first, which required a little more force than I expected and I didn't want to break my MacBook Pro so I was a little nervous about it. But after the bottom two went in, the front two went in very easily. Right here I was making sure that the two corners of the MacBook Pro were secured in the case. Okay, now it's time to put on the top part of the case for your MacBook Pro. Make sure you put the front of the case on in the right order. Otherwise your case will be on backwards and won't snap in securely and will probably end up breaking the top cover. As you can see there is a little lip which indicates the front of the case for your MacBook Pro. You put that lip facing your opening slit on the front of your MacBook Pro and it snaps in over that on the two sides top and bottom for a total of five clips on the top part of the case. Once you push it down you have to open up the MacBook Pro to make sure that each four of the snaps were secured which they weren't. Sorry again for blocking the camera I really couldn't see the camera at the time and I was just trying to do this video in a hurry because it was kind of late. I'm trying to get the videos out to you guys as soon as I can. Now that I made sure all four of the corners were secured uh, you're ready to use your MacBook Pro in its case. Your case should be uh, on correctly if you follow the steps or listen to the instructions. As you can see the spec logo right there, it's uh, upside down in your case. As you can see this is what the Mac looks like once you open it up. You can see the Apple symbol through. It does have a purplish tinge to it, but once I up the brightness and zoom in the camera, you can see the Apple logo a lot better and more clearly and it will look less, I guess, purple or light blue in my opinion. As you can see I'll zoom in right here to show you uh, how it looks close up. You can see it does look white but it does have a slight bluish tinge to it. As you can see I zoom out here and uh, I'm going to pick up the case in a few seconds to show you uh, basically what the box it comes in looks like. I'm going to show you that it's for the MacBook Pro 15 inch model as I specified before. You can see it shows uh, the instructions and how to apply it on there. It also gives you a tiny cutout of the material that the case is made of for you to feel. I thought it was just the case underneath, but it is actually a separate piece put in on its own, which I thought was uh, pretty good because it shows they're not really cheap. But this part a little later to show you what the MacBook Pro looks like with the case on. I show you the sides here. As you see, the MagSafe power adapter has no problem plugging in. It's not loose in any way. Comes off very easily, and as you can see, there's a little cutout for the Mac, uh, I'm sorry, MagSafe. Uh, power charger to slip in so it does not uh, I guess rip out or stay loosely in. Okay we got stuck a little bit there. As you can see this is the front you can see the lip that you use to open the MacBook Pro. As you can see the case really is invisible once you open it. You can see the sleep indicator on the bottom right shines brightly through the case. No problem seeing that indicator. Also you can see the battery indicator which gives you a little button to push on the case which lights up the battery indicator. I think it is a little dimmer than you would see normally, but personally it doesn't bother me as much. I'll unplug the MagSafe power adapter for a second so I can turn it this way without uh, ripping the plug out. You can see that the optical drive or CD drive is not uh, prohibited by the case. There's room for the CD to be put in and uh, that's basically it. There's nothing else you need to really do on that side. I do think they were a little spacious with the CD drive and I'm gracious for that because sometimes I'll try to do it blindly and it doesn't work. As you can see, there's cutouts on the back for the purpose of when you open the MacBook Pro, as I'm doing right here. It gives uh, the top lip case room to, I guess, lean back farther than a 90 degree angle. As you can see right here, I'll turn the case around. As you can see, the MacBook Pro can open up to the angle which it can open up without the case on. The case does not prohibit its motion, and the angle it can open up to is, I believe, a 135 degree angle, although I'm not uh, completely sure on that. I'm glad the case does not restrict the motion of the Mac because I think it would be a pain in the butt to have a laptop that can only open up 90 degrees.
As you see, there are the four snaps on the bottom left, right, and top right and left, as well as a snap above the eye camera on the top of your MacBook Pro. It's a longer snap than the rest of the snaps. There's also one on the left top, left bottom, right top, and right bottom, as you can see. I'll flip my Mac over for you guys now so you can see the bottom of the Mac and what it looks like with the case on. There's an exhaust port. Even though there are no visible exhaust ports on the MacBook Pro, there are two fans that do circulate the hot air out, so the hole does help. There are four rubber feet in the top and bottom corners of the case. Your MacBook Pro's rubber feet actually fit into them if you look inside your case. Well, that's it for the spec see-through satin case for the 15-inch MacBook Pro. It costs $49.95 before tax. You can get it at the Apple Store, Amazon, or any other retailer that sells Apple products. Um, I guess that's uh, it for now. See you guys later.